So Modus is giving you permission to be as thrilling and the kind of thrilling you always wanted to be. This campaign is thrilling and always empowering to thrill people with our products, but most important, with our business. So you guys want to see the products? Like the video? I love that video. Okay, let's start with our palette, the Thrill Me palette. How cute is that palette? I love the design, love the colors. But what makes this palette different is that it's multifunctional. The pink, ooh, I'm out of breath now. The pink color is actually a cream color that you can use as a lipstick, as a blush, or even an eyeshadow. The white, the lighter color, um, it's a great highlighter. The two medium colors you can use as highlighters. You can use them over the lips because the yellow, the Asian model, I put the gold on her lips. So you can use any of these colors, well, maybe not the green. The darker one, like the more coppery one, it makes a great blush. I've been using it as a blush. So it's a great gift, very multifunctional. Um, you can take it as soft or as thrilling as you want to take it. But if you want to take it another notch, I love these liquid eyeliners. We haven't had color liquid eyeliners in a long time. And these colors are the bomb. The blues are amazing. I'm actually wearing uh, the lighter blue. It's age appropriate for everyone. I'm not going to tell you my age, but I'm not 21. And I'm still wearing it. And the color looks great. <laughs> the color looks great on everyone. I promise. Then we have the liquid metal eyeshadows. We had it this season too, and we did so well, we wanted to introduce two new colors to them. And these colors are so vibrant, so brilliant. I, the picture does no justice. You really have to look at it. And because it's liquid, it doesn't matter what color skin you're putting the color on, it's not gonna look any different. It's not gonna change it. And because it is liquid, it's a little bit, before it dries, if you want to have it a little bit smokier, you could take a brush and smooth it out. So you don't have to have such a bold color or look. Finally, we have the Lip Illusion Polish. The illusion is we have gold and silver specks. So it picks up whatever light. It gives more dimension to the lip. You can even wear it a little bit over here. And what's great about this product, it's a little bit thicker because you're going to learn that in the trend, a lot of people are using sparkle on their lips. And as you saw in the video, we use the eyeshadows. So when it's a little thicker, it goes in more, so it'll last a lot longer. So it's almost like you have your own custom lip color. So we saw the products, but we need to know how we're going to wear the colors in the next season, right? So Alice and Olivia was a big designer. She went with a more bold look. And that's the color of her eyeliner. Uh, Mizzoni, another great designer, she wanted to do something softer. By the way, those are all the colors from our palettes. The bronze, the, the little mint color, it's beautiful. Also, you're going to see a lot, we saw a lot in the runway, like Max Mara, very bronzy tones. And what she's wearing, that's totally from our palette, the different bronze colors. And I would do the lipstick, the pink, and then add the bronze on the top. And you totally get that look. Um, if you want to be on trend, but you don't, you don't have to go crazy and do the whole eye blue, you can do it a little bit more subtle, a thinner line, like the first model over here, and you'll always be on trend and very chic. It doesn't have to be that bold. You can smoke it out, like the second model. The third model, the reason why I wanted to show you this is because it's like the no makeup makeup look. I'm telling you, if she had no makeup on, she would not be looking like this. And a lot of times, we want to go to the beach, but we don't want to look like we're wearing makeup or run our errands. And this is what they're showing in the runway. So with our pink lip gloss, I mean, uh, lipstick from the palette, you stain the lip. You don't want to define the lip. So you stain the lip, you stain the cheeks, and a little bit on the eye. And it just brings life to your look without necessarily wearing a lot of makeup. Okay? So why do I tell you all these things? I mean, I love talking about makeup. I can talk all day and about fashion. But I'm telling you this is because you guys have to learn what's going to be trending, what's in style, so you could talk to your customers. Okay? You see, the importance of makeup is an extension to your outfit. It's like an accessory. Without the right makeup and the right outfit, the outfit is not going to, I've told you this before, it's not going to look good. So we actually, oh, let me show you this. 
the sparkles on the lips. You see, I told you that was all over the runways. We did it with the shadows. You can take it as bold as you want, like the other picture, or as soft as you want with the pearl colors. But back to what I was saying, we do a lot of this research so you guys sound like experts in the industry, so you gain that confidence from a potential customer or potential prospect to the business. And we even have programs that we spend a lot of money that tells us where the trends are, where they're heading, and where they're going to be when the product comes out. And these are the same programs that Chanel, Tom Ford, uh, the biggest interior designers, because it's art, it's, it's design, it's color, they all use this. So you know that you're always going to get the latest and best products. So it is important to know about fashion. Okay, so let's learn about trends. We're going to see a lot of fringe, a lot of trimming. You're going to see a lot of feathers, feathers, some patent leather on leather. You're going to see a lot of opposites, like the soft with the hard. Um, beige, the beige is going to be the new black, different shades of beige. It, uh, the lace in the bottom, you see the soft with the hard. You're going to see lace on more tailor outfits and a men's shirt opposites that you never thought existed, colors that you never put together, fabrics or textures, everything goes. That's why it's so thrilling. That's why you call it permission to thrill, because this season you have permission to thrill and try anything you want, because you can't make a mistake. Everything is in style. Basically, everything is. So we were talking about the 80s last time. That was a big influence. Well, now we're moving into the 90s. So if you have biker shorts over there in your drawers from last time, you can bring them out because they're back. Back for evening, for working out, for casual. And while you're looking for the biker shorts, if you happen to see some stonewash denim, you might want to bring those out too because a lot of major designers were using them in the runway. So you're going to see a lot of stonewash. So we can recycle right now. Like, you, I, like I said before, get into the prints, mixing different patterns. Suits, one color suit from head to toe, strong shoulders, big sleeves, bows. Oh my God, you're gonna see so many bows. I got bows in my shoes, we have bows in the, in the video. Bows is gonna carry over to the next season. So now you know what, how to wear the makeup and you know the outfit, but now you need to have the images to show your customer. Because you might show them how to wear the makeup, but they're like, well, I don't know. Am I supposed to wear this to go out at night? Do I wear this with jeans? Does it go with an evening? You have to show them inspiration. Makeup sells by showing a picture. That's how easy it is. So I created these, um, these slides where you see the makeup of the girls with inspiration of outfits, of what you could wear with that makeup to share with your customers. Like the first model, her makeup is amazing, but the customer might be like, oh, I still don't know what to wear that with. But now you show them what they can wear with. I Granted, I know that they're not going to have these outfits, but they might have something similar to this, or they might get inspired to go shopping. But if they don't like a strong color like that blue, they're more into the nude color, that same makeup looks great with a more subdued nude. So you see that same makeup can be worn in different ways, but if you don't show them the images, they're never going to know. So showing these images seals the sale. If they had a doubt, they don't anymore. So remember how I've told you guys that you need to... Makeup is very visual, and you'll understand that in a second. But you know I've told you to print out these visuals, because you don't have to waste your time and do makeup on people and talk so much. All you have to do is really show the pictures, and that will sell the product. So what I'm going to do, because I know that some of you don't even know where to start looking. I get that. And some of you are busy, and I don't know. But I'm, I want to help you guys out. So I'm going to make a lot of these pictures, make a lot of these, I, I don't know, once a month, every two weeks. Every time I see them, we're going to send me email them to the field. So you guys, when you get them, all you have to do is print it out and put it in your folder. Does that help you? Makes it a little easier, right? I promise it's going to help. I promise. Okay. So you love the new products, right? Now you know how to wear it and what to wear it. And now I'm helping you make it even easier. So why do I get the sense that it still hasn't clicked with some of you to jump into that modus opportunity? I know for some guys it could be intimidating. You're like, I don't wear makeup. I don't know how to apply makeup. What am I doing selling makeup? And even some women, I get it. Some people, maybe they just don't know why yet. But I think I can help 
and I'm going to tell you. So what I did was I reached out to two men, and they are super successful with motives. They don't wear the product. They don't even know how to use the product, so they're not using it on anybody else. But they're still super successful. Oh, and I'm sorry to say, but you're not going to catch them anytime soon in the cover of Vogue magazine or in the pictures of Vogue magazine. I'm so sorry. They have great style. I'm not saying that because they do. What I'm trying to tell you is, there's two regular guys. Two regular guys that are making money and winning challenges with motives. The people that you least expect. And you know why? Because they understand entrepreneurship. But most importantly, because they recognize an opportunity. So I want you guys to recognize that same opportunity. Makeup is a multi-million-dollar industry. They're going to buy the makeup, whether you're the ones that sell it to them or not. So why would you want to miss out and let them buy it from somebody else? And this is what I'm trying to explain to you. Make sense? All right. Right? Good. And I'm going to teach you how right now. So I'm, those two men are. Everybody knows them as Big Al. I know him as Big Al and David Whited. By the way, thank you so much for taking the time because I really wanted to pick their brain and see what I can get from them so I can share with you. And they were so excited because honestly, all they really want is to see you guys succeed. So, the first person I spoke to was Big Al, and what he told me was that he simply saw motives as an opportunity to make money, and he simply just did not want to miss out. Why would want anybody want to miss out in making money, right? So, what he said is that he treats motives as a business, and as a good business person does, he gathers as many tools as possible to help him succeed. What are those tools? All this information I'm giving you, all these visuals, all the literature. The more knowledge that you have in something. The more chance that you're going to have to use it to succeed, and that's exactly what he did. The first thing he did is he took a custom blend class. I think that's a great idea, you, David. You might want to take a class too. I don't know if you've taken it, but that's honestly that's brilliant. And I don't think it's because he's the person that's going to sit there and mix the custom blend and apply it on people. Which, by the way, you can. But he did it basically. So he can start a conversation. You never know when this conversation might come up. So now he sounds like an expert in the industry, and then he brings them in, and then takes them over to Debbie, his wife. Um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. I saw you. Another thing that he does is he makes sure that he makes business cards with his Modis Cosmetics business cards with his name on it. Because again, that gives him credibility. He looks like a professional. He knows about the products. He has the business cards. And what he, what other thing that he does that I actually I think it's brilliant too. He carries the top 10 selling products with him at all times, everywhere he goes. Because again, he doesn't want to miss out on an opportunity of making money. So you never know when the opportunity might come up. To sell the product, to show the product, to talk about the product, whether it's for a customer or a future prospect, so it's working for these guys. Okay, they're making money. So, and so finally, what he told me was he makes sure that he has plenty of makeup artists in his organization. Not everybody's as lucky to have a Debbie with him. So, his message to, to you is add as many tools to your toolbox. So you never miss out in any opportunities. As simple as that. I mean, this is what I've been telling you guys, and now you're seeing it. This is why I wanted to share this with you. Then I spoke to David. I think they're pretty much in the same page. But in his words, what got him attracted to Modis was that he was—he really wanted to take advantage of a product that nobody else had. That's smart. It was custom blend. Did you take a class? Maybe you should, right? Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> um, hold on, I skip an extra one. He is a person that leads heavily in the tools that we offer, and to him, it's simple. 
He shares them. That's exactly what I've been talking to you about. That's all he does. He doesn't talk about makeup. He's not applying the makeup. He shares them, and they're winning challenges. They're making money. I, it just, it's so easy. Okay, it's making me So he shares the literatures. He shares. I just do it. <laughs> he shares the literatures. He shares the pictures, and he shares the videos. He also says, which I have to agree with him, that Modus has the best visuals than any other product in market America. Of course we do. But no, not because of that. Because it's about color. It's about beauty and the models. They're beautiful pictures. Why not share them? It's easy. People like to look at beautiful pictures. Because makeup is very visual. It sells itself. That's why Instagram is making make the makeup industry even bigger because just from those pictures is selling the products and what are they doing what david's saying simply sharing it okay so has it clicked yet right i hope so because it's that easy and the proof is right here so he finally just like big al he makes sure that he refers people to the right person and the right expert. So that means having enough experts in your organization. Okay, one last thing, because I know I gotta go. Every product that we have to give you from, from Modus Cosmetics has a reason, whether it's the color, the formula, the function of it. So you guys have to embrace it, have to I know that every product's not going to be for you. It's not, it's not always like that. But it might be because maybe you don't understand it, not necessarily because you don't like it. And if you don't like it, somebody else will like it. But if you don't like it because you don't understand it, if it just makes no sense, you can reach out to one of the Modus trainers. Or honestly, you can email me because I will explain to you what a good product it is, what the reason it is, what the purpose, how it's used, that you might start liking it. And if it's still not for you, at least now you know how to sell it to the next person. Because why should you miss out on an opportunity to make money? That's it. I got to go. Stop by the booth.